Later on today, I'm going to be seeing One Direction, probably for the fourth and last time, I have to say. Um, and so in this vlog, I'm going to take a look at what possible their options there are to wear to a One Direction concert. But I think we can extrapolate it out a little bit and just look at outfits that we may wear to sort of a smart casual event where you don't really want to stand out too much from the considerably younger crowd. I have done a little bit of a straw poll amongst my daughter and her friend to see what kind of thing they think I ought to be wearing. Uh, my daughter said I should be as bright as possible because the aim of going to, a, or the aim when you go to a One Direction concert is to get noticed. But I'm not really sure that that's what I should be doing. Just imagine wearing something really bright and sparkling, being noticed by somebody in One Direction going, Oi, you up there, the bright... Oh, no, hang on a minute, no, not you up there. No, that's not a good look on somebody your age. So I think I'm going to go for more subtle, let's blend in, let's not stand out from the crowd, let's not pretend that we are young and hip. Not that One Direction are particularly young and hip. Um, until the lights go down, of course, and then I'll be singing loads because actually I really like their music. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm going to have a look at in a minute. First off, though, I just wondered if anybody has been loving the Rugby World Cup as much as I have been. Not for the rugby, not for the final whistle, unlike lots of people, but for the ref. Isn't it brilliant that you can hear what the ref says? I love that. So they get these two great big beefy blokes over and he's telling them off and he's like, now you were really naughty, you shouldn't have been doing that. And you were really naughty, you shouldn't have been doing that. And if you do that again, you're gonna be on the naughty step and they're standing there like, okay ref, I won't do it again ref. I just love it, I think it's brilliant, it's hilarious. It's like having a pair of toddlers being told off. Anyway, that was a little bit of an aside. So. Yeah, in a minute I'm going to look at clothes. I just need to go and make a few preparations, get some things sorted, and I shall be back in just a tick. So this is the first outfit that I'm going to show you for my uh, potential outfit for the 1D concert. I've decided that I'm actually going to wear these little jigsaw ankle boots. Do you see they're quite flat, um, really comfortable, because we've got a little bit of a walk from the car park to the venue. Um, and this leather jacket as well, which is one of my favourites. It's quite an old little number now, but I know that it's going to get taken off and screwed up and pushed in a bag or under a chair, and I'm not too worried about it, given that it really has served its time for me. And then these jigsaw boyfriend jeans that you can see here. Um, on the top half, so this outfit is kind of quite plain, but then it's got some pops of colour to it. And you can think about using this in lots of different contexts, so not just a smart casual outfit, but maybe for an evening out. Whatever you're doing, there's outfits fall into different categories. So I like to think of the, as this as my fairly plain outfit, so it's not too scary, but then it's just got some pops of colour. And the way that I've introduced the colour is with this Kate Spade bag. So it's this lovely bright Kate Spade bag that I bought from Vista. And then I'm also wearing this bright orange scarf, which was a birthday present. Um, so that just adds a nice bit of colour. And then underneath, I've got a long tassel necklace. Again, working in some colour there, kind of corresponding with the bag. Um, and just to show you the jumper that I'm wearing, this is a little Primark number that I bought in our local Selfridges. It's a nice rib jumper. It's, you probably won't be able to pick it up on the camera, but it's got a bit of sparkle in it, which is quite nice, a bit of Lurex to go with a whistle skirt that I bought last winter that I didn't get a chance to wear a lot. So that will just tuck in nicely into the skirt, uh, which then flares out and is a midi skirt. And yeah, you can see that, £10 there. Um, so very plain in terms of the boots, the jeans, the jumper and the jacket, but then just adding in a bit of interest with the tassel necklace. I've got some brighter bangles as well, the scarf and the bag. So it's a little bit loud, but not very loud. And if I took all the accessories off, I'd be really, really plain and blend in quite nicely. So that's the first outfit and I will now move on to outfit number two. So this is my second potential outfit. You can see it's very different to the first one in that it's all black. So I've gone for a very, very dark colour palette other than the trainers, um, which I wear with pretty much everything and are great if I'm walking any distance, which I will be. Um, the thing about wearing lots of black is to work with different textures so that although it is one colour head to toe, you're still making it interesting. So in that regard, I've got this phase eight jacket that I had um, last winter. So it's not quite furry, but it's got some sort of texture about it, which is like that. It's quite good that it's not furry, that it doesn't add the same bulk to your frame as fur can. I know some ladies like to steer clear of fur because of the addition of the extra bulk that it can bring. And then underneath the jacket, I'm wearing 
this lace top from uh, Zara, which has got these lovely sleeves on it. Um, there's quite a lot of these around this season, but that's quite nice for a change. And actually, um, it's fairly warm, so that's always good for me. And then here, I've just got the Bowden skinny jeans, the coated skinny jeans, which they've done again this season. They've got a good rise on them, so they're nice and comfortable. Um, you can see them there, probably with VPR. I haven't checked that, but never mind. Um, so yeah, this is outfit number two. And then alongside this outfit, I just wanted to show you these bracelets, which have been gifted to me um, by Jella, Bella Jane, even, which is this great brand here. Um, you can see the little box, hopefully. Um, and then inside, they have these gorgeous little bags that everything comes in. So these are really sweet little pink bags, which, of course, being as pink as they are, you can imagine appeal to me really, really well. Um, and then I'm just going to show you the bracelets as well. So I've got these three bracelets here. I've got one which has got a little star on it, so that's really cute. Um, I've got one with a B on for my initial, which is lovely. See that there? I'm going to put these on the blog as well so that you can see them. Um, and then one with some little angel wings on them. Um, and the lady who makes these does them all herself. She designs them and then sources the beads and uh, and the charms as well. So these are really lovely, nice three stacked together. If any of you have um, friends who've got brands that you want me to mention on the vlog, then I'm very happy to do that because it's great to give exposure to new brands who perhaps wouldn't get so much of a voice otherwise. So yes, like I said, I'm going to mention those on the blog. Um, there is Bella Jane Jewellery um, and I'll put some more details on there so that you can take a closer look. Um, and there's also a 10% offer running on these as well. So that's maybe nice as a little Christmas gift or something like that. Um, yeah, so that's outfit number two, very much based around black, head to toe, apart from the white trainers, but with some texture. And like I said, with reference to the first outfit, you can do that in lots of different settings. So in an evening setting um, or a more casual setting, just wearing one color head to toe, but then playing with the textures, just mixing it up a little bit and making it a bit more interesting than just the flat same texture throughout. So, okay, moving on to the last outfit now. This is my final outfit with the options for the concert and this is called um, a print and a knit because there's lots of these knits around this season. This one is from Jigsaw and I've probably had it for 10 or 12 years now but they're still going strong, they've still got them in store now. Um, so you can still get hold of them in lots of different colours and they're great because they're fantastic if you're sitting at your desk at work and you just need to pop something on over the top of your clothing if you're a bit chilly. Um, also great if you're uh, driving the car or if you're going from somewhere warmer to cold. So not as heavy as a big jacket but quite good for an evening like tonight. And then underneath I've just popped this shirt which I bought from um, and other stories last year. It's one of my favourite ones. I'd like to get some more printed shirts or tops this season but I don't come across them very often that I really like so um, I'm holding out um, and this one I think is perhaps going to wear out before I find another one that I like but anyway I'm on the lookout so yeah that's my third option uh, a print and a knit. So the first one was very plain just with some bright pops of colour just to recap uh, the second one was head to toe all in one colour but using different textures and then in this outfit I've included some print um, and then a knit as well. So sometimes before you get dressed it's quite a good idea to have a think about which route that you want to take and then it immediately discounts some of your wardrobe and makes choosing things a little bit easier. So. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this vlog and that you found it useful, not just in dressing for a 1D concert, but in many other contexts as well. If you like what you see, it'd be great if you could like it and share it with your friends or subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I shall look forward to seeing you again soon. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.